Hello everyone, welcome to MS Update webcast. In this video, we are going to see the steps on how to create dynamic administrative unit for users in Azure Active Directory. As we know that we can add or remove users or devices for administrative units manually. With this preview, we can add or remove users or devices for administrative units dynamically using rules. You can create administrative units with dynamic membership rule for users or devices, but not for both. Administrative units with dynamic membership rules for groups are currently not supported. At the time of this video recording, there is no way that we can directly create administrative unit with dynamic membership rule. We need to create administrative unit with assigned membership first and then we can define the dynamic membership rule from the properties. In this video, we want to create dynamic membership rule to store all the users from taste team department under the administrative unit named taste AU1. For that, we need to access and log into the Azure Active Directory portal. You can access Azure Active Directory portal using the URL https colon double slash aad.portal.azure.com. On Azure AD portal, click on Azure Active Directory. We are using the user account with global administrator role to perform the steps. Under Manage, click on Administrative Units. We can see we have one existing administrative unit named India. First, we will create an administrative unit and then we will define the membership rule for it. Select the Add button at the upper part of the pen. In the name box, enter the name of this administrative unit. I'm giving name taste AU1. Optionally, you can add a description for this administrative unit. Let me add all the users from taste team department. Okay, now I'm going to click on review plus create button. We will be on assign roles page. At this moment, we are not going to assign any role. I'll create one separate video on it. Again, click on review plus create button. We can see the name of the administrative unit is taste AU1 and here we can see the description. Finally, Click on create button to add administrative unit named taste AU1 to Azure Active Directory. Let me click on create. We can see the confirmation message successfully created administrative unit named taste AU1. And we can see taste AU1 is also here. We can confirm that the membership type is assigned for taste AU1 administrative unit. Click on taste AU1. Here we can see some messages there, unable to complete due to service connection error. Uh, let me click on refresh. Okay, here we can see uh, we don't have any user account stored under this administrative unit. Now let's define dynamic membership rule. For that, under manage, click on properties. Let me click here. In the membership type list, select dynamic user or dynamic device depending on the type of rule you want to add. In our case, we will choose dynamic user option since we only want to store user accounts. So let me select dynamic users and then click on add a dynamic query link to define the dynamic membership rule query. Use the rule builder to specify the dynamic membership rule. Click on drop down arrow under properties. Select department as a property type. Now select operator type to equals. Now we need to add value for the department attribute which we want in this rule to match. In our case, it is going to be a taste team. Still we are not able to see the rule syntax here. So simply you need to click here to see the rule syntax. Now we can see user.department equals to taste team. After creating the rule, select Save. On the Properties page, 
Select save to save the membership type and query. One uh, warning message pops up saying after changing the administrative unit type, the existing membership may change based on the dynamic membership rule you have provided. Click yes to continue. We can see confirmation message successfully updated the properties of administrative unit. Click on users to see the list of user accounts which are stored under this administrative unit. Right now we can see we don't have any user accounts stored under this administrative unit. To see the updated list, I am going to click on refresh. Okay, still we don't have anything. Now I am going to click on MSFT webcast which is the name of our Azure Active Directory tenant. Or we can confirm that, okay here still we can see assigned membership type is there. So I am going to click on refresh and now we can see the membership type for test AU1 is changed to dynamic. Let's click on test AU1. This is the name of our administrative unit. Uh, still there is no user. Uh, let me click on refresh. Okay and now, now we can see we have total three users under our administrative unit named a test AU1. Let's click on a test user 3. And we can confirm that users department is a test team. And that's why this user is listed under our OU, uh, sorry, under our administrative unit name test AU1. Now let's change test user 3's department. So again, I'm going to click on test user 3, click on edit, and uh, let's change the user's department from test team to marketing. Click on save. Okay, we got the confirmation message successfully updated test user 3's profile. So now this user's department is marketing, not a test team. Okay, let's click on our administrative unit name, which is test AU1. We can see test user 3 is still there. Now let me clear the checkbox and let's click on refresh to see the updated list. Still test user 3 is there. I think we need to wait a little longer. Uh, let's uh, click on refresh. Uh, still test user 3 is there. And now as we can see test user 3 is removed from the administrative unit named test AU1. The reason is pretty simple one because now we have changed the department of that user and based on our dynamic query only users from test team department can be stored under administrative unit named test AU1. So that means dynamic query for membership is working fine. Users are added or removed automatically in our administrative units with a dynamic membership rule. So that concludes the video on how to manage dynamic administrative unit for users in Azure Active Directory using Azure Active Directory portal. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.